More Jet Ennis coming up in just a moment or so in the hurdles. But before that, uh, just going back to the field event earlier on today, the men's javelin. If you're 50 years old, 50, I repeat, 5-0, sitting on the sofa at home thinking, oh, well, I'll have another glass of Pinot Grigio, you should be here competing as Raoul Bradstock is at the age of 50 and finishing second in the javelin. But look at that attire. Colin, you are the dedicated follower of fashion. What do you make of that? <laughs> do you know, I absolutely love it. There he is celebrating the Jubilee year and, of course, London 2012 with beautiful Union Jacks all over him. Wonderful role. Absolutely delightful. Denise, this is a man, we ought to say, by the way, serious athlete, competed in the LA Olympics in 1984, so he's been around the block a few times. What did you make of those trousers? Um, I think I think Colin would have worn them well, I would, personally. I would, I'd go. I, would, <laughs> I would so love you to wear those trousers tomorrow. No. For a bet? No, no, no. no, no. Street right. cred's in, uh, in jeopardy there. Right, well, listen, behind us, uh, we can see Jess Ennis, uh, because we've got the women's uh, hurdles final coming up very shortly, but we actually saw Jess in the semi-finals earlier. Uh, well, old athletes never die. They become parents of international athletes, or they just keep throwing the javelin. If you weren't watching us yesterday, then you missed an absolute treat. This is Raoul Bradstock, who at the age of 50, because he doesn't mind any of us saying that, came second in our national championships yesterday. And uh, he's also, as you'll see, wearing his Great Britain tracksuit from the 1984 Olympics in Los Angeles. And we have here for you, laid out on the javelin track where he was performing yesterday, the kit that he wore yesterday. And Raoul is known as the Olympic Picasso? Yes, correct. The Olympic Picasso, because this kit, it's, it's not linen, it's not cotton, it's actually ordinary kit that he has painted the Olympic flag and everything on. It's just, it is an absolute work of art. First question, though, is it rainproof? Um, I don't know, and hopefully I won't find out. <laughs> it's going it's to happen any second now. But let, listen, first things first, before we talk about this amazing kit that you wear, you're still competing at 50 and beating people who could be, you know, your children. Is that an indictment of them, or is it just a, a fantastic testimony to you? Well, I'd like to think it's a ladder. Um, I'm just all having fun, and I just, I've never actually stopped throwing. I think that's key. Um, and I'm just, you know, the fact that I can still be breaking records and be competitive is just an absolute thrill. Well, it was, it was awesome to, to, watch, to watch you yesterday. And, and tell us why, why this. Well, I'm, I'm an artist, and I use different kind of mediums from like YouTube videos to throwing various objects. And yesterday, I basically looked at it as uh, performance art, uh, going, you know, obeying the rules. Um, I was had to wear a, a, either a club vest or an international vest, so I chose my uh, 1984 Olympic vest, again, keeping everything Olympic-themed, and then decided to paint my shoes uh, with, with a British Union Jack, then get some caps, three different caps. And I always had three different sleeves over here, I painted the socks, and then the uh, two pairs of tights, uh, kind of one white base and one red, and just kind of mix and match throughout. Well, they do look fantastic. Actually, you mentioned the fact that you know you, you, you throw things other than javelins. We ought to say you're the world record holder for throwing an iPod, yeah? Uh, yes, correct. And I, how far did you throw an iPod? Uh, 154 yards. Good God. Good God. <laughs> That's an awful long way. And you're also the world record holder for throwing a vinyl disc. A vinyl record, yeah. How far was that? Uh, it was a Val Dunican record and it went... <laughs> it was a uh, Val Dunican record. Very important to mention that. <laughs> uh, you could actually hear him singing as he was going flying through the air. Uh, it was 112 metres, 10 centimetres. That, that is amazing. And we ought to just say, I'm well, serious, I, I, look, we could talk a great deal more, but we've got the 1,500 metres coming up behind us. Yeah. That, that you, You're an ambassador for 2012 as well, aren't you? So you're trying to incorporate athletics into, into art. Absolutely. Just look at every way from performance to going to schools, to look at how we, um, the connection between sport and art. OK, well, and, and I must ask you, are you going to be back here at 60, 55? Well, you know, how much, how much longer uh, can you keep throwing that javelin? Uh, have a chat with my wife about that. <laughs> All right, well, it's a, 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 great to see you. Many congratulations. And Steve Backley, if you're watching, just get back, get back out there and training, because, you know, your country needs you. Anyway, anyway, listen, thank you so much, Ralph. Great to see you. Behind us are the runners for the women's 1,500 metres, and this promises to be a real cracker.